Not even gonna lie, JP be so lucky sometimes and I just can't express it. Alright guys, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about this new character that is going to be coming out on JP. It is another Jericho, except I've heard she's extremely good. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over that. But before we get into this video, go ahead and drop a like down below. You're gonna enjoy this content if you are a Jericho stan, if you are a Jericho fan, you already know. Go ahead and drop a like down below if you enjoy this content and you're going to enjoy this content. And also, join the subscribers on the grind to 1K. 1K. And at 1K subscribers, we're doing a big giveaway, guys. And we're doing every a lot of things are going to happen once we hit 1K. So, go ahead and join the subscribers on the grind to uh, 1,000 uh, subscribers by hitting the subscribe button down below. But anyway, let's get into the video, right? So, as you can see, we have a new Jericho that's coming to JP. So, this is SSR Knight of Freeze Guardian Jericho. You're probably asking, bro, there's like, what, four or five Jerichos in the game. Why do they need to add more? Well, <laughs> you never know, right? So, right here, we can't read these, of course, but we can read what the skills do, right? So, we have her first skill, is what I would like to say. This is rank three. This inflicts damage equal to 360% of attack on one enemy, freezes for two turns. When the freeze is removed by using skills, ultimate moves or after turns have passed, inflicts damage equal to 40% of my- What the hell? Hold up! Freeze for two turns, right? And then when the freeze is removed by using a skill card, ultimate moves or after turns have passed. So meaning, they- What does it mean by ultimate moves and after turns have passed? That, does that mean that they can't, they cannot do anything that turn after you hit them? And then it inflicts damage equal to 40% of their remaining HP? Like, what? That is, that is broken. That is absolutely broken. What the hell? I've never seen a card like that. JP, I'll be blessed. I mean, I got shafted on Goddess Liz. I'm not blessed right now. <laughs> okay, and her second card. Inflicts detonate damage equal to 400% of attack on one enemy. Which means if they have the more old gauge, I believe. I believe detonate is the more old gauge you have, the more damage you're going to get uh, hit by if you get hit by a detonate card. So I'm pretty sure that's what that means. And then the card is inflict spike damage equal to 560% of attack on one enemy. And inflict spike damage equal to 640% of attack on one enemy. This is the combined attack, right? So her her passive is when a hero, sk when a hero uses skill and critical hit occurs, Decreases the defense related stats of the enemy that took the critical hit by 40% And I'm pretty sure guys I am pretty sure that this Jericho is going to have a high crit rate and Not only that on JP they released Sario and then we have we have uh, He he's a boost right? He's a crit boost and then there's there's multiple crit boosts on JP literally JP has been so been getting so many crit characters it's actually crazy that they release this Jericho, that passive, basically, once you hit a crit on somebody, their defense related stats go down 40% for two turns. Wow, that's kind of broken because, like, if you, you have a whole team that crits, that's just, don't, it, it's going to either force them to um, cleanse a lot, or they're just going to get hit really, really hard the second turn if they don't cleanse this. Because it's a crit happening with the crit damage. And then you're negative 40% defense. Like, come on, bro. What is it? What were they thinking? So this is, yeah. You, I think this is step 10 guaranteed, right? Let me see, right? So we have, her rate is really good, 0.5. Step up new character. So it's a step up character. So yeah, on step 10, you get her 100%. So if you do all 10 steps, you get her 100%. And I'm pretty sure the steps go like 30 gems, and then one gem, and then 30 gems, 30 gems, 30 gems, one gem. You know how it goes, right? So, she has a 0.5 rating, and then the other characters in here are the Sins, Deanne, Bond, King, Merlin, um, Commandments, Fraudrin, Melascula of Faith, Irieri, Zeldris. Is that Blue Zeldris? I think that's... That's Blue Zeldris, yeah. I think that is. I think it is. I don't want to say it is, but that has to be, be Blue, Blue Zeldris. Oh, and they even have the Archangels in here. They have Ludo Seal and Sariel and Tarmio in here. Bro, honestly, in my opinion, bro, I, I, oh my god, this is a summon, this is a fat summon, and it's a step up, so like, 
you get a guaranteed SSR on a certain step. I think it's step five, you get a guaranteed SSR. And on step two, you get you only pay one gem. And she you get this unit guaranteed on step ten. So I would definitely invest in this because she is actually a broken unit and a really good support for this passive. This passive and also this freeze. This freeze right here is broken, man. This I'm gonna read it one more time. Inflicts damage equal to 360% of attack on one enemy. Freezes the target for two turns. When the freeze is removed by using a skill card like this or this, or whatever, ultimate moves or turns or after turns have passed. Inflict damage equal to 40% of the remaining HP. Like so you're gonna inflict damage, right? <laughs> 360 damage, and then you're gonna freeze them. And then like when you when you hit them with a skill, you're gonna I think I think this means, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, you skip ultimate move or the after turns have passed, right? And then you do another 40% of remaining HP damage. So you're you're gonna do like two times the damage with this one card, which is actually really broken. I thought the freeze card was gonna work something like Red Merlin, where like you, when you freeze, the higher rank you freeze, the more damage you will deal when you do a skill card or an ultimate or whatever, right? So guys, honestly, this unit is broken. There's a lot going on on JP. Y'all already know. I'm going to link this down in the comment section below so you guys can see all of this. And so you guys can um, check it out yourselves if you want. Oh, what is that? You will not be able to check the uh, check the grace that is applied to the hero when forming a team. Returning player bonus can be fully earned as long as you blah, blah, blah. Adjust the animation speed to the same when enhancing and continuously enhancing. Wow, JP's blessed. JP's getting a lot. JP is getting a lot. Y'all, I mean, y'all, y'all just got, when did y'all get, when did y'all get Festival King? That was like a couple months ago, right? So yeah, you, you've had some time to save up, guys, because there were skippable banners, a lot of skippable banners on JP. So for sure, I feel like this is not a skip. Get this Jericho as ASAP. She's another crit, crit unit and crit supporter. So like I 100% recommend it. This Jericho is a really nice rebuild too. Like I really like that. I like this passive and I like everything about this Jericho. That is really cool. So really that was about it for this video. I just wanted to go over Jericho and the um and also the what's in the pool of the characters and what this type what, what the summon is. It's a step up summon. So you just have to get to step 10 and boom. You have Jericho 100% and you know, maybe you'll pull her before you get to step 10. You'll get really lucky and you can save your gems if you uh want you yeah actually nah you want to pull right if you pull her before step 10 you have to get out of that banner if you're free to play because i feel like the one escanor is on the way and i feel like he's going to be exclusive he's he's going to be exclusive there's no way that they, they're making that unit a regular unit like this right here they're going to make him exclusive i feel like it's because of like the arc he was in and everything like i feel like once they release once they release um the one escanor they're probably going to release uh, Demon Assault Mode Meliodas. And that is also going to be an exclusive unit. Man, they should just have a new rarity, man. Like, they should have, like, a LR. Like, like, Doken. You know, you have UR and then you have LR. You know? They should have something like that, right? But it doesn't matter. Like I said, though, if you could get her ASAP, if you're free to play, you get her on your second draw or whatever, take it while you can and probably leave because you have to save for the one Escanor which is on the way and probably demon um assault demon mode assault demon mode <laughs> assault demon mode uh meliodas so for sure keep that in mind right but for sh this is this is really free step 10 you get her if you are paid to play all my pay to plays all my youtubers and whatnot you this is literally free amazing jericho i know amazing i know amazing is pulling for this <laughs> shout out to amazing by the way but anyway, guys, that's really about it for this video. I just want to discuss this unit. This unit is absolutely broken. I feel like you should summon on her. You definitely should. But if you're free to play, I really feel like you should still summon on her because she's still that she's still that good. Just make sure you have some type of gems. If you get her some type of gems uh, to save for the one Escanor, which we should, he should be coming. Not shortly, but he, he'll be coming soon. He'll be making his appearance soon. Probably during the, where the um, chapter comes out. I think y'all already have it, probably. I already, uh, JP already has the chapter, probably, where he fought in the one mode, probably. No, I don't think y'all do, actually. When y'all get that, it'll be around that time where y'all get the one Escanor. So, anyway, guys, that's about it for this video. I just want to discuss this Jericho and this th these abilities and everything, and she is absolutely broken. I'm happy that they're promoting more, like, crit damage in JP. I'm, I'm just waiting for this on Global, really, because... 
this looks very fun. Like, JP's looking very fun with all this crit damage. Wow, you know, Global just got Goddess Liz. You know, the PvP is freezing now. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below. Join the subscribers on the grind to 1,000 subscribers by hitting the subscribe button down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.